Hi, my name is Keith. I'm sitting here with the well-known and well-established Sean Jordan. We're going to ask him a few questions about really his life, how all of this has come about. He goes to OU now, he's not from here, and uh, he's an international volleyball star. I mean, that's <laughs> not to put it lightly, I mean, that's, that's the genuine case of it. So, tell us about yourself, about where are you from? We'll start with that. Um, I'm you. from the Caribbean, small island in the Caribbean, Barbados. Mm -hmm. um, we're actually like really small, 266 square miles, so it's not that big of a place. But it's a fun place, it's home, and I love it. Yeah, absolutely. And it's yeah. beautiful there too. It is very. I've seen parts of the Caribbean. I know. <laughs> <laughs> is it pretty much like it's that? Better. Everybody has boats, and <laughs> it's better. A lot better, better, a lot better. Yeah. Beaches, sand. Well, sand. so. Tell us about your love for volleyball and how that started. Were you really young? Did it just kind of something you fell into? How did that? Uh, my love for volleyball started when I first got to high school. I played a bit before, but it wasn't that serious. It was just some backyard volleyball. Because my cousin, he played for the national team at home. So it was just some backyard volleyball. He also went to the high school I went to. Mm -hmm. So when I got to the age to go, to high school, I, he recommended me to his coach, which was the coach at um, the high school. Mm -hmm. So then we started talking and then I began playing volleyball at around age 12 for my high school. During that time we won a lot of tournaments, like knockout tournaments, league tournaments. Mm -hmm. So it was really good. Got a lot of individual awards for myself, so that was a bonus. Yeah. And then eventually, um, in 2011, I got invited to my first national practice, and it all just rose from there. Yeah, I was selected on my first national team in 2013, where we traveled to Guadeloupe. And we how old were you in that? I was 14. 14. Yeah, somewhere around there, 14. Yeah, 14. Uh, we took gold in that tournament. That was the tournament for the Caribbean. So it was like all the teams from the Caribbean, Trinidad, Barbados, Guadeloupe, Virgin Islands, all those teams. So we took first in that tournament. And two weeks after, like I didn't even have any time to rest when I get back home. Like we had to be on a plane again, heading to Trinidad for my youth tournament because I was young enough to still play youth. That tournament was the junior tournament, so I was still so young you enough to play youth. Yeah. Oh wow. So when I got back, I went from Guadalupe straight to Trinidad, and we also took gold in that tournament, and we then advanced to Narseca, which is international teams, USA, Brazil, yeah, and then... So it's like the Olympics of volleyball. Yeah, and kind of like that. <laughs> really, it sounds like. Yeah. The summer of my tours, I made 11 tours, so I got to travel all over. My main focus was volleyball, making the national team, playing because we played. I had we played club volleyball, so it was club. I was playing club volleyball, playing for the national team, playing school volleyball, training at school, training for nationals. At nationals, we had like four days a week, and then Saturday and Sunday, so it was kind of difficult. Wow. So I like kind of prioritized volleyball more, and then. I kind of began to fail my classes. Oh, no. <laughs> so all in all, you're putting about at least 40 hours. Yeah, it, it was time. a on paid job. <laughs> yeah. So it was actually pretty stressful, but eventually, like, a good two months into it, I kind of got a hold on everything, prioritizing my work, and still being able to attend volleyball and have fun. That's a great skill to learn at a young age. Yeah. <laughs> juggle all of that happening. Yep. So, so you heard about OU through Meshack. So, well, how did that all transpire? Meshack knew one of my friends from um, my friend. He also played on the Nash you no know, team back home, mm -hmm. but he then went on to play volleyball in New Jersey. So, him and Meshack knew each other. So, Meshack was asking asking him if he knew anyone interested in scholarships. That time, I was looking at scholarships, but. I had like three offers already, but then like Ottawa, so there was just something about Ottawa that 
There always yeah, is. There's yeah. always something about Ottawa. <laughs> yeah. There's just something. And plus, Mishak was really good with his words then. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying you were swindled or just kind of like, uh... Uh, it sounds great. Let's go. It was, I would say it was like being comfortable. Like I didn't know what to expect from other schools, but coming here, I knew I had someone from the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. And plus, what made me choose Ottawa even more is that when I figured out another guy from the Caribbean was going to be on the team, which is not my roommate, slash best friend, slash brother, but yeah, that made the... That was the... Uh, yeah. Yeah, so just being here, having both eyes from the Caribbean mm -hmm. on me, cause like I get messages from people like I like hardly ever spoke to people I don't even know, telling me good job, keep representing the Caribbean, That's enjoy it, have fun. Right? It does, but at the end of the day, it's still a lot of pressure. Pressure, yeah. Cause like sometimes I go to games, I'm like, I love to compete. Mm -hmm. I love to compete. So like, I'm like. I gotta put everything in, I gotta play my best, I gotta put my best foot forward. People are watching me, people from back home, people from here, mm -hmm. people from all over watching. So my family is watching. Like it's not that like I have a point to prove, but I feel like I don't even know how to put this. I don't have a point to prove, but I feel like I have a point to prove. Absolutely. If you understand. No, yeah. yeah. No, I yeah, I mean that makes yeah. sense. Me coming to Ottawa, the first night I got here, I was so cold. <laughs> yeah. like, it was really cold. I stepped out the the airport and I was like, nope, I go back to <laughs> yeah. I was like, nope, back inside. And I went back inside because I was so cold. It was so cold that night. And then eventually Misha got there and he picked me up. And I actually wanted to go back home. I was like, I need to go back home. I can't, <laughs> I can't do this. I miss my family already. Right? And that was only two hours into being in Kansas. Like, I wasn't even f too far from the airport. And I was like, I miss my family. I want to go back home. <laughs> and then Misha, he called my friend. And like, we were just in the car talking. And we were all talking. So then he was like, yeah, you have nothing to worry about. Like, your first year is going to be rough. You miss your family, whatever. Mm -hmm. But then after that, like you get accustomed to being on your own, having your own freedom and stuff like that. So it did work, but like I still miss my family at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah. I have two brothers, one older, one younger, so I'm the middle child. Yeah, they gave me a lot of stress, but <laughs> I could handle it. Apparently. Um our relationship we're like we're close, like best friends. We would talk about everything, they would call me, they would tell me certain sort of stuff, <laughs> especially my younger brother, he would call me like if he has a problem with something my mother did, mm -hmm. he'd be like, you would not believe what this woman just did, like that's <laughs> how he would say, you would not believe what this woman just did, but like that's a relationship we have with her, yeah. and she has with, with us, like it's not, she isn't really too, she is straight, like really straight, but we she still, has to be, she has to be, yeah, <laughs> three boys, three boys, <laughs> so, like, we, like, the relationship is just close. I don't even know how to describe it, but like, it's like, she gives us a lot of freedom, but still holds us tight, if you, if you guys understand what I'm trying to say. Like, speaking to her is like, speaking to a friend, a normal person, but then, like, she, we know where to draw the line, draw the limit, like, we could say certain stuff, she would say certain stuff, but, it all comes down to respecting her and us, we, us respecting her. So it's like that made our bond really close. Yeah. My older, my older brother, he's like 32, okay. and my younger brother, he is 19. Okay. Yeah. So it's not so, so some distance. Yeah. Between the older and the younger too. Yeah. But we're still close. <laughs> we're like really close. I, like we rely on each other for a lot. We talk about everything. Yeah, we still got our little fights and stuff, mm -hmm. right? but we love each other. That's that's way I could put it. Like, last summer we were home. My mother, my mother doesn't know this happened, so. <laughs> so I'm sure she won't watch this. <laughs> last summer when I was home, like my younger brother and I, we were 
<laughs> we're outside like playing around with the dogs and stuff, like running around with the dogs. And my older brother, he was in his room. So he was in the room and like he was propping up at the window. So he had long hair. So I grabbed his hair. <laughs> I was like pulling him through the window. Not really pulling him through the window because we have bars at the window. So like, I was pulling his hair. So like, <laughs> he was just there, I was like screaming. <laughs> and then he went for the, the broom. I was like poking it outside. So I grabbed the broom and was pulling it. So he was pulling it back and forth. We were pulling it back and forth. And he released the broom and the entire window shattered. We fixed that window in like 30 minutes. We got a new window every <laughs> week. <laughs> Before she even realized were they not that home? got it. Nope. <laughs> Like we fixed everything before she got home. She does not know that happened up to this day. We'll keep your secrets safe. <laughs> the younger brother, he's just like evil, evil, very evil. The youngest though we are. <laughs> he does so many things. I remember this one time, I was <laughs> making pancakes and I had the pancake on the stove and like I just left to go to my room to come back. My pancake was finished, everything looking nice. I sat down to eat my pancake, put a circle on my pancake. When I took the first bite, this pancake was so salty. <laughs> he put he salt, put salt. <laughs> <laughs> He put salt oh, in my pancake. Is... Dash, and you, you haven't gotten him back? No. Oh, no. In the age of classic evil. I think that's all we have for you today, folks. This is a Sean Jordan, star hey. instead of Otto University. <laughs>